So today in this video, I am going to be shooting 177 slugs, the slugs, um, with my hot Tenova. Um, I am going to be trying to adjust my power level with the 15 and the 16 grains. Um, I am going to try to get them around 750 to 800 to 900 feet per second, the difference. So you guys can see the the different expansions at the different velocities with the the heaviest slugs which is the 20 grain and the 21 grain i'm only going to shoot in my high velocity um the reason i'm trying to shoot the 16 grains and the 15 grains at a different velocity is so you guys can um if your rifle is not capable of shooting them at a fa uh, faster velocity i can show you what you can expect from 750 to 800 to 850 with the 16 grains and the 15 grain slugs so I, ho I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys do like the video um, give it a like and subscribe if, if you want to I am going to be making uh, more videos so these, these are the six slugs that I have um, these two are 16 grain uh, griffin slugs flat base boat tail and this one here are 20 grain flat base and 20 grain dish base 15.5 nsa slugs uh flat base and the 21 grain nsa slugs like i said i i am going to try to shoot them at different power levels so you guys have a better idea um what they can what can they do at a lower velocity i am going to be trying to shoot them around 800 feet per second the slugs and then i i am going to be shooting them at the highest power level i can get my rifle to which is around with with this one it's going to be around 850 and probably these it's going to be around like 900, 900 and 900 with these and about close to a thousand with these like i said i am going to be shooting shooting them at a lower velocity around 800 and then we'll do the the high velocity i'm not sure what power level my rifle set up right now but i am going to, have to take it apart and um tune the power down for the lower velocity so we are going to start with the higher velocity because my rifle is tuned to shoot them really fast uh the 21 21 grains at around 850 so let's get started this is my the hammer of the uh hatsa nova this is the hammer the screw to uh add more tension to the string the metal washer it's like a little tube and this is the spring um so this is the washer that i'm using to uh create more tension this is the one that i'm using to get around 150 to 180 feet per second with the 21 grain nielsen slugs as you can see it is bigger and it's longer than the uh, stock one the original one so right now i am going to install the original one to get a velocity around um to be able to adjust my velocity to a lower velocity so i can test uh, the slugs the 16 grains 20 grains 15 grains and then the 20 grains I took my rifle apart because it wasn't giving me any more power I was shooting the 10 grains um, crossman domes at around 850 and that's not enough velocity to shoot the slugs okay we're gonna start with the the lightest of the 177 slugs so which is the NSA 15.5 grains 16 grains flat base 16 grain boat tail we're going to start with the nsa first 
So I I did um I was shooting the Crossman Domes 10 grains. I tried to get as close as I could to 900 feet per second. Um it, it would just wouldn't go around 900. This is the closest I got it to shoot. So I am going to start with the 15.5 grains. I don't know what the velocity I'm going to get, so um I'm just trying to replicate some slow velocities with the slugs. Okay, we, here we go with the NSA 15 grains. Let's see what velocity we get. All right, that was 700, around 700 feet per second. Um, I kind of wanted to shoot it around 750, but let's see what it did anyways. Okay, this is the wound cavity of the 15 grain NSA slugs 177 um, as you can see it did go just a little bit more than six inches um, this is where my calipers stop at as you can see the wound channel it, it kind of was sipping right through I did slow it down somewhere around here you can see that's the the hollow point um, expanding here um, let's take a look at the slug the slug um, barely expanded. I'm, I'm gonna get a slug that it hasn't been shot yet. Here's the slug that hasn't been shot yet, and here's the one that we just shot. It did expand somewhat. Um, I am gonna shoot it at a faster velocity so we can get a better expand. Okay, here we go again with the 15.5 slug. I did um, get put more tension on my hammer swing. Uh, I haven't shot the gun yet, so let's see if we can get around 850 to 800 feet per second. The last time you got close to 700. So let's let's check. Okay, that is 760. Okay, here's the cavity of the 177 slug. Um, let me put it right here so you guys can have a better idea. This is the 15.5 grains. It did lose some um, penetration but it did expand that's about three inches and a half to two I mean yeah three inches and a half to three inches around there um, so it did expand about a fourth of an inch in here half an inch less than half an inch it did it started to expand and as you can see it did um, lose the velocity it did not penetrate as uh, for as the other one flying at, at a lower speed as you can see here is the 700 feet per second versus the 750 feet per second I am gonna shoot one once more the 16 grain I am trying to get a velocity around 800 feet per second so let's see what we get the next try here we go again I took one shot with the 16 grain. No, it's not a 16 grain. The 15.5 grain NSA slug, 177 caliber, and that's the velocity it got, 850. Let's see if we can get somewhere close to to that velocity again. Um, let's see if it's going to expand or not. Here we go. All right, let's let's go. One, two, three. All right, so we got the same velocity. Let's see what penetra penetration we got this time. As you can see, now the hole looks bigger than the first other holes. Let's see what expansion we got. This is the expansion of the wound cavity of the 177 15.5 grains NSA slug. As you can see, it did really expand really nice. Um, I'm gonna have to measure the diameter. But well, here's the wound cavity. Really nice expansion, about half an inch or less than half an inch here. Um, so that's about three inches, maybe around three inches. Here's the other side. Really, really nice cavity. All right, so this is what you can expect with the hundred, eight hundred and fifty feet per second. So. That is around 650, 7, 850. I am going to measure these at the end of the video. 
I am going to put a picture of the different sizes. Now I am going to start shooting with the 16 grain uh, flat base NSA slug. And then we're going to follow that up with the boat tail. And then we'll, we'll start going up on weight with the 20s and then the 21. All right. Um, okay, now I, I am going to be shooting the 16 gra grains flat base griffin slugs. And then I am going to be shooting on the other side of the clay, the boat tail 16 grain griffin slugs i did not change the power setting so it's going to be around 850 close to there 847 46 all right let me move this up all right now i'm going to shoot the boat tail so the boat tail is going to probably be it's not going to be that steady flying, so it is going to make a bigger cavity. Here we go. Oh, that's, that just went through there. Oh, I did find the boat tail, so let me stop the video. Okay, we're going to start with the cavity of the 16 grain flat base. Here's the slug right here. Let's compare it to a 15.5 grain slug. You can see the expansion there. Um, this is a griffin slug, 16 grains. So this is the expansion. As you can see, it, it started expanding about a fourth of an inch maybe. Right here, that's probably like a fourth of an inch started expanding. This is about two inches and a half. Let's see if it's if it is or not. So caliper R are zero. So let's see. That is about three inches of pen penetration. And that was uh, 850. And this is the cavity of the boat tail. As you can see, it kind of did expand somewhat. Um, it took a little bit longer to expand as you can see here um, that expand I think um, I think the boat tail was tumbling so it did sip right through I do have it here and let me get the other ones here is the boat tail as you can see it wasn't flying straight um, if you're thinking about getting a boat tail from Griffin slugs, you might want to get a 18 grain, so it has more, more surface on the barrel. The 16 grain doesn't have enough surface, so you might want to try the 18 grain. Okay, I just detuned my uh, air rifle. I am going to be shooting the 16 grain flat base Griffin slugs at a velocity of 750. That was the last shot I took. So let's see if I can get the same velocity once again. Here we go. Let me cut the gun. Okay, here we go. 750 with the 16 grain Griffin slugs.